Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Why Mari Pepin is so popular on social media nowadays. Snagging screen time on popular reality TV series may boost almost anyone's social currency. This is especially true for platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. That happens to be the case with Mari Pepin, a fan favorite who previously competed on ABC's The Bachelor. Here's why her social media presence has improved significantly since her appearance on the show. Mari Pepin's Social Media Popularity Some Bachelor Nation hopefuls join the show with high hopes of finding love, but they end up heartbroken. Mari, in particular, concluded the show in love with Kenny Brash when they filmed Bachelor in Paradise Season 7 together in 2021. That season was recorded shortly after she appeared on Season 25 of The Bachelor. Mari and Kenny look to be blissfully married, based on their Instagram photos and videos. Mari's social media profile has undoubtedly increased as a result of this. She currently has 303,000 Instagram followers, and she posts constant stuff that her fans and following can keep up with. Mari's bio states that she enjoys beauty, skincare, fashion, and cooking. Mari's posts typically receive hundreds of likes and comments from fans who are eager to see more of her. One example is a reel she shared featuring a pumpkin patch excursion she had in Chicago. Another example is a reel she provided detailing her Dominican blowout hair session. Mari's entire social media profile has benefited greatly from her involvement in Bachelor Nation. According to CNBC, she had barely 50,000 Instagram followers before making her first reality TV appearance. Influencers can make hundreds of dollars per sponsored post they share on Instagram and other comparable sites. Of course, the amount of followers someone has is important. The level of involvement they receive is one of the primary aspects evaluated. Gaining prominence on reality TV shows and parlaying that cloud into social media notoriety is a frequent path for many people who are prepared to take such a big and courageous step. Mari's tale is not very unusual. Another example is Francesca Farago from Too Hot to Handle Season 1. She has more than 6.2 million Instagram followers since filming the popular Netflix reality TV show. Raven Ross is another reality TV star who emerged from Love is Blind. She is currently approaching 1 million Instagram followers. Mari, in particular, has received a lot of support from Bachelor Nation fans after seeing her struggle for and find love on national TV. Because of her popularity on social media, she has been invited to conduct sponsored posts. Daisy Kent, a Bachelor alum, defends Joey Grazia Day and Kelsey Anderson for living with housemates, despite financial problems. The Bachelor alum is expressing his support for season 28 lead Joey Grazia Day and his fiancée, Kelsey Anderson, after he disclosed they were living with friends. It's something you'd normally do, you understand? You had a significant life change. Obviously, they're making their relationship work, and they're going to move in together, Kent, 25, tells Page Six Virtual Really Tea while promoting her collaboration with Daisy Cottage Cheese. So I feel like, sure, that's just how life is. I appreciate how honest and open they are, she says, adding how much she enjoys seeing her own housemates spend time with boyfriend Thor Herbst. I love when my boyfriend hangs out with my roommates, Kent says. So I'm sure it's great. Back in June, Grazia Day revealed on Jason Tardick's Trading Secrets podcast that he had to move in with Anderson and her roommates when his credit score plummeted during production for ABC's long-running dating competition series. My credit score was at 730 and I went on the show and I had a payment from a credit card that I didn't answer for two and a half months, he remembers at the time. I dropped around 80 points. Like, what the fk? Grazia Day, 29, went on to say that he, couldn't, even get into an apartment building, because of the scenario. I went on a TV show and I come back and my credit score bombed, said the comedian. Jesus Christ. Grazia Day's pledge to financially support Anderson, 26, when she quit her job to begin their new life as an engaged couple only added to the pressure. Despite competing for Grazia Day's heart, the couple is still going strong, 
as is Kent and Anderson's friendship. It's easier to stay friends than I think people realize. You're all in this together, and you're all aware of the risks. I'm actually going to see Kelsey in the next few weeks, which is exciting, she says. So I'd say it's been quite great for us. We were pretty close on the show, so it's been quite comfortable and genuine in that manner. After filming ended on her season of The Bachelor, Kent not only strengthened her bond with Anderson, but she also reconnected with her beau, Herbst, whom she had known in college, and feels ready to take their relationship to the next level. She informs Virtual Really T that she plans to move in with him soon. I would say within the next year, we're definitely going to move in together which I'm really excited about, she tells me. But we spend so much time together, it feels like we honestly kind of live together. Until then, Kent enjoys her role as an ambassador for Daisy Cottage Cheese, which she believes she manifested while commercials for the product aired during her time on The Bachelor. I have been eating cottage cheese since I was a child. It's America's favorite cottage cheese brand, and it carries my name. So when I was younger, I would always gravitate toward it, says the blonde beauty, who developed a signature Daisy Capri's recipe. It definitely is the best tasting, cottage cheese, too, so I'm thrilled about it. Natalie Joy, Nick Vile's wife, revealed that she is considering a breast augmentation after having their first kid and experiencing deflated titties. My boobs are to my ankles, and it's so sad. Joy started the July 30th episode of her and Vile's podcast, Vile Files. Joy stated that her really good breasts were previously her best feature and she felt blessed to have been born with them, but that changed after welcoming her daughter with Bachelor Alum River Rose in February. Then I had a baby, and then I breastfed that baby, and she has sucked them to the absolute nothings of nothing, and now they are down, deflated titties, down to my ankles, and it's so depressing, she told me. Vial, 43, ridiculed his wife, 25, for portraying the situation as a little exaggerated, but said that she is going through it right now. For example, whenever I put on a bra, I have to lift up my titty and insert it into the bra. It's the saddest thing, why would they do that to you? She continued, adding, it's just so sad. Joy added that she has decided that it is a little too late for them to bounce back thus she is considering breast augmentation. If you see me on Instagram with some big old rock-hard fake tits, that's why, she remarked, chuckling. The influencer explained that she intends to be open with her fans, and teased that she'll host a get ready with me to get my boobs done. However, Joy, who recently told Page Six that she wants as many kids as God will bless us with, added that she's planning on waiting until after she gives birth to a second baby but she's definitely not waiting until the third. I'm just here to let everyone know, that, new insecurity unlocked is, deflated saggy ass titties, she summarized. Joy's chest has previously been a topic of conversation after she clapped back at fans who got upset over her cleavage in her strapless corset-style wedding gown when she and Vile tied the knot in April.